What's up you rude people? I'm Buntree and today I'm going to talk about relationships. Don't worry, I'm not going to talk about my relationship. I'm going to talk about Power BI relationships. So, um, first I'm going to talk about the uh, many to many relationships and how you can identify that. Second, I'm going to show you how you can join the relationship. And third, I'm going to show you how to, you can fix that that many to many relationship using a, a bridge table so um, so if you're new to many to many relationships stay tuned and um, and I'll show you how to do that let's jump to my power bi so here I have a I have a, a data set from from Microsoft and um, basically contain my city data and the sales data and um, so so as you can see the state has like duplicate value so you california this is california here there's two california here and then when you look at the sales table you also have california as well so if you join these two, you're going to get a many to many relationships. Okay. So let's, let's jump back to Power BI. Now, so the data is exactly the same. So you've got your city data, which contain the city and the population. So this is in, 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 in the millions and then I've got my cell. This is how much internet was sold. So 60 million, 80 million to a different different state. So let's um let's try to analyze this data. Okay, so so let's do that. So uh, if I go to data modeling, okay, so I've got just two simple table. Let's 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 join them up. So pre July 2018, when you when you join these two column up. You get an error saying um, many to many. You have a many to many relationships, um, so you can't you can't even join them because of the the error. So after the, the, the July twenty eighteen, um, the Microsoft team decide to uh, to add these features. Um, I think because um, the this because Power BI is 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 for a self service tool, so. It, it probably just allowed the, the the business to able to can to join it. So um, let, let's do that. So let's join the state and the state. So then it pops up. Just um, just give you a, more, a warning that your relationship is a it has a many to many cardinality. So it, so it's a hey you know, um, I'll just give you a warning. That this is a many to many relationship. So then let, let's just click OK and see what happened. And it, it set it set the cross filter both into both direction. Okay. Let's click OK for now. Okay, so you got you're going both direction. Now now that we have the relationship between these two tables, so these are just reference table. Now I want to analyze these two two table, you know, okay. So let, let's do some analyze so I'm going to create another table here okay I'll bring it here um, let's bring in the state from the city data um, let's just make this a bit bigger so you all can see it and let's make the column headers also bit bigger now we've got the city data let's bring in um, the population okay so now we also going to bring in the sales table or sales total okay which is this one here Okay, let's have a look. So as you can see, the number for the cell don't add up, but the total is 790. So definitely there's something wrong with this. Okay, so 
in the background it it, it just it just sum all this value up so, and because the relationship the California which is CA matches but the New York didn't have the New York in there so that's why the numbers are not adding up even the yeah so so we, it, this is not right so as you can see it it allow you to create a many to many relationship but it, it doesn't produce the result that you want so so how do you fix it yeah so one way to do this is to create what they call a um, a bridge table or a third table this is because I'm, I'm coming from a, a data warehouse background so usually the traditional way of um, solving the many-to-many -many relationship is to create a bridge table so let me let me show you how to do that um, let's do that now so let's just let's just take this out for now let's remove it okay so now I need to go to the um, our query So I'm going to try to create a third table, all right, let's do that. So here I'm going to create another third table, so I'm just going to create a new query. Change it to a table. Okay. Now make sure the column name is the same. Now I'm going to go to sales table, I'm going to create another query. So here I've got the, the query that I just created from the state. Now I'm going to merge these two together. All right. Let's do that. So I'm going to um merge no not merge a pen i'm going to pen the query together to a table from state three so now i've got the um all my data into this table i'm going to remove all the duplicates oops that's not what I want. That's not what I want. Remove duplicate. Okay. Close and apply. Go back to down down rolling. Let me just disable the state. We've got the state here. Let's just not show it, so I'm going to make that disable. So, yep, we'll continue that. I'm just going to rename this to a. I'm just going to rename it to state. Okay. okay. Close and apply. Okay. So now I have a um, a many to one relationship. So here's my many to one relationship. It's also one to many relationship. Yeah. Let's 
good. So now I'm going back to my reports again. So I'm going to create another report. So now the states I can get from my state, the new table, which is the third table. Make that a bit bigger. So as I can see it. And I'll make the uh, column header bigger as well. Okay, so that's my state. Now let's bring in, now we want our line for population like we had this one before. Okay, so bring a population. And we're going to bring in the sales. Okay. Now you see now, California, they had 4.9 million, see, 4.9, see how it adds up now? New York had 8.5, Texas, because there's no population, but in the cell they have 400 store, 400 million, see that? So now that's why you know, the, um, the many to many relationship doesn't always work. Um, so if you see any many to many relationships, try to convert that into a, a bridge table or third tables. So um, that's how you do it. Okay. So what do you guys think of um, many to many relationships? Tricky, eh? Very, very tricky. Um, yeah, look, you know, you can do it with a many-to-many -many relationship, but um, you just need to know what you're doing. So um, my advice is, if you can avoid it, just go with the traditional way, the classic way. You know, classic always the best. So just just create a bridge table and uh, or a third table, whatever you want to call it, because you know, if if you if you're just joining just a many-to-many, -many, you can get a convoluted mess you know just give you a bizarre result you know and you will confuse the hell of the business you know so yeah so um i hope that tutorial has helped you to understand the the many to many relationships and um if you like my video so please give me a thumbs up and if you enjoy the video Please subscribe to my channel and, um, and I hope to see you in the next video. So bye for now.